Welcome to Confess number 119. Confess number 119. Okay, so t this morning, uh, although we're in, um, what are we in, chapter 17? Yeah. Uh, we were doing a little bit of review about functions just to get a little bit more familiar with the graphs. Uh, so we're not doing anything specific from that chapter, just, just reviewing graphs of functions a little bit. So, suppose we have a function that's graphed like this. Can you tell me where is this function increasing? Well, it's, incre it's increasing here and here. Okay. Where is it decreasing? It's just decreasing here down to that Okay. Point. And where is the function constant? This okay. one. All right. Very good. Very good. So you can identify... Um, where it's increasing and decreasing just by looking at it, right? Yeah. Can you write down uh, the math description for for the this part where it's increasing and this part where it's increasing? Like the slope for it? No, where you could tell me in, in instead of just highlighting it on the graph, could you tell me in words or, or some sort of math language where these where these parts of the graph are? Well this go this point goes from minus two zero to zero four. Yeah. So what are the x values where it's increasing? The x values, this increased, this increased from minus 2 to 0. Okay. I'm not, probably not saying what I want you to say very well. So f of x is increasing from, or maybe say between, because it's always tough to say whether it's increasing or decreasing at this point. Um, x equals minus 2 and x equals 0. Where else is it increasing? It's increasing from x equals 3 and x is, right, yeah, x is 5. Okay. All right, good. So that's just part of our of a mathematical language. So it's it, we can we're going to work on translating what we see to sort of words that we can use to describe it. Now, uh, let's find the slope of one of these lines. Which one do you want to find the slope of? You can pick whatever one you want. Let's do this one right here. That one. Okay. So what's the slope in between x equals three and x equals five? Well, the slope is change in y over change in x. So. Our points are 5, 2, and 3 minus 2. So it's 2 minus minus 2 over 5 minus 3. I subtracted it this way. Okay. Which is, it's 4 over 2, which is 2. Okay, good. So we found the slope of this line segment here is actually 2, which means for every... One, we go over, we go up two, and every one we go over, we go up two. So we actually can learn here that what is this point right here? That point, it's four comma zero. Four comma zero. So we go over one to four, go up two, over one, up two. And you can see for the whole line segment here, we went over two, up four. That's pretty interesting. What's one other thing you can tell me about this line and that, or not this line, this function? What's one other interesting thing about this function you can tell me? Well, doesn't matter. Any, anything you want? Hmm. Goes up, goes down, goes up, and stays the same forever. Yeah. But something in math, something very specific, precise, like here's where it's increasing, here's what this slope is. Just pick, pick something else. How about the slope of this? Okay. What's that? I can write. So from it goes from the point zero four to the point three comma minus two. So what's the change in y over the change in x? Well it's four minus minus two. Four minus minus two. Over zero minus three. Over zero minus three. Which is? So we get six over minus three, which is minus two. Minus two. So the slope here is minus two. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. Can we have? Should we have known this was a negative slope there? 
Yeah, because it, it comes, if slopes come down this way, they're negative. Come down that way, they're positive. Okay. So we actually, I think we probably learned what this point was too. Let's see. We go over one, down two. So what point are we at here? So we're at one comma two. One comma two. So we go over one, down two, and we're at. That's two comma zero. Two comma zero. We go over one, down two. And we're at three minus two. All right. Good job, Sweetie Pie. Good job. I uh. I think it's good. I think it's good. We spent some time reviewing graphs and functions today.